the Covenant. During our time with this magnificent empire, we have been introduced to many different species, from the small yet lovable grunts to the scheming yet feeble prophets. But today, we are going to focus our attention on one of the more hair-raising creatures. We are going directly into the lives of the drones. Drones, or the Yan Mie, to use the correct title, are insectoid in nature, with a hard, chitinous exoskeleton, much like many beetles and crustaceans found on Earth. Interestingly, they also share many similarities with Earth-based insects in the way that they look like total nope fuel. Upon seeing a drone for the first time, I expressed a deep desire to nuke the planet from orbit. Because as we all know, that's the only way to be sure. Drones are born in nests like this one from a single queen that is described as being extremely large and carried by at least six to seven wingless males. Since drones are fiercely protective of their queens, we were unable to get footage of her. But we did manage to secure an interview with a Sankheli named Roy Stagemi. It has an enorm kont. I have seen a lot of things. Don't mind, as you believed. Unfortunately, after recording this interview, Stagemi committed suicide. Drones are like nightmarish Power Rangers, in the sense that they come in a few different colors. For example, the green-shelled drones are typically just that, drones. Whereas the golden-shelled drones are often seen as leaders with the highest available rank. Odd how one skin color can decide how well you do in life, isn't it? Oh well, when it comes down to it, they're all the same vomit-inducing freaks up close. You wouldn't think it, but drones are actually talented little mechanics when they want to be, and are often stationed on various ships and worlds for that very purpose. One of the more notable places would be the Covenant Holy City High Charity, where multiple drones were in service. Thanks for doing this on such short notice. Alas, while drones may be gifted with a wrench, they ultimately come second to the natural talent that engineers possess. Much like their talent with machines, one wouldn't think that drones could handle themselves in combat. But the reality is very different. Through various reports shared with us by the UNSC, we have discovered that despite looking physically frail, the drones were capable of inflicting great damage to marines. But most of the time, they were just seen as a mild inconvenience. Ah, what a mild inconvenience! Despite being horrifying freaks of nature that should be burned to death upon conception, drones are actually quite tasty and are hunted for their internal meaty goodness. A quick look into the exciting life of a local hunter yields more answers. Yeah, drone meat usually fetches a good price from these rich types. They pay top credit to eat any old crap, even if it tastes like rusted shoelace. The only problem with hunting those bug-eyed bastards is that if you hit them in the wrong area, they kind of explode. Here, watch this. Nice shot, eh? Oh, give me that fiver. Oh, oh no. 